Have you ever pondered the impact a bird can have on a flying aircraft? It's more significant than you might think. Let's delve into the world of aviation, where an unexpected threat looms, bird strikes. This is when a bird collides with an aircraft that's either in flight, taking off, or landing. A seemingly harmless bird can pose a significant threat to aircraft safety. Picture this. A small propeller-driven aircraft can be damaged by a bird impacting its structure, and the situation can become fatal for jet engines if birds are ingested, leading to loss of thrust. Think of the bird as a wrench thrown into the complex machinery of an airplane. The result? Engine failure, structural damage, and in extreme cases, serious accidents. So the next time you spot a bird soaring high in the sky, remember, as innocuous as it may seem, a bird strike can indeed pose a severe threat to aviation safety. Let's delve into the annals of aviation history to understand the real implications of bird strikes. One of the most notable incidents took place in the early days of 2009, involving U.S. Airways Flight 1549. This event later became widely known as the Miracle on the Hudson. The day started like any other for the crew and passengers of Flight 1549. The Airbus A320, piloted by Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger, was on its routine climb out from New York City's LaGuardia Airport. Little did they know, their flight was about to take an unexpected turn. Just minutes after takeoff, the aircraft collided with a flock of Canada geese. The impact was so severe that it resulted in the loss of all engine power. The skies above one of the world's busiest cities suddenly became eerily silent. Now imagine being in Captain Sully's shoes at that moment. With a powerless aircraft, a cabin full of passengers and no viable airport within gliding distance, he was faced with a life or death decision. The only available option was to ditch the aircraft in the icy waters of the Hudson River. In an extraordinary show of airmanship, Captain Sully managed to glide the aircraft onto the river's surface. The landing was so smooth and precise that the fuselage remained intact allowing all 155 passengers and crew to be evacuated safely onto the wings of the sinking plane as rescue boats hurriedly converged on the scene, news of the miraculous landing spread across the globe. In a situation where every second counted, Captain Sully's calm and decisive action had saved everyone on board. But the miracle on the Hudson wasn't just about the heroic actions of one man, it was a stark reminder of the real threats that bird strikes pose to aviation. Despite all the advancements in technology and safety, nature remains an unpredictable variable. In a testament to exceptional skill and composure, Captain Sully turned a potential catastrophe into a miracle. But not all bird strike incidents have had such miraculous outcomes. Let's delve into two more instances where these feathered creatures had a significant impact on aviation safety. In November 2008, Ryanair Flight 4102 traveling from Frankfurt to Rome had a frightening encounter. As the aircraft was landing, it suffered multiple bird strikes by a flock of starlings. The collision led to the failure of both engines. Imagine the heart-stopping moment the pilots must have experienced as they grappled with the sudden loss of power. Despite this, they managed to land the aircraft safely. However, the engines and the nose of the aircraft suffered substantial damage. A terrifying ordeal to say the least, but a testament to the pilot's skills and the resilience of modern aircraft design. Going further back in time, we find Eastern Airlines Flight 375, a chilling tale from October 1960. Shortly after taking off from Boston, the aircraft flew into a flock of starlings. The impact was devastating. All four engines failed. With no power to keep it in the air, the plane plummeted into Boston Harbor. 62 lives were tragically lost in this incident. A stark reminder of the potential severity of bird strikes in aviation. Both these incidents highlight the substantial threat bird strikes pose to aviation. They demonstrate the potential for catastrophic engine failure and severe aircraft damage. Moreover, they underscore the importance of pilot skill and quick thinking in such situations. But it's not just about reacting to these incidents, it's also about preventing them in the first place. As we delve further into this topic, we'll explore the various measures put into place by aviation authorities and airports to mitigate the risk of bird strikes. 
From habitat management and bird scaring techniques to radar systems and wildlife management, numerous strategies are employed to keep our skies safe. These incidents underscore the significant risk that bird strikes pose to aviation. But remember, with every challenge comes opportunity. An opportunity to learn, adapt, and improve. And that's exactly what the aviation industry continues to do in the face of this feathered foe. Given the potential risks, how does the aviation industry tackle the bird strike problem? Well, the strategies are varied and innovative, including habitat management and bird scaring, two effective ways to prevent these unwanted avian encounters. Let's dive into these measures and understand how they help minimize bird strikes. First off, habitat management. Sounds simple, right? But it's a complex task that involves altering the airport environment to make it less attractive to birds. This might entail managing grass heights, as some birds are attracted to tall grasses for nesting and foraging, while others prefer short grass. By maintaining an intermediate length, airports can deter a wide range of bird species. Similarly, water bodies are managed, as they are natural bird attractors. By draining unnecessary water bodies or limiting their size, airports can discourage birds from settling in and around the airfield. Now let's talk about bird scaring. This basically involves using visual and auditory deterrence to scare birds away from the airport. Visual deterrence may include reflective tapes, rotating rods, or even bird of prey models, which invoke a natural fear response in most bird species. On the auditory side, airports employ distress calls, pyrotechnics, and propane cannons. Distress calls are recordings of birds in distress, which warn other birds of danger. Pyrotechnics and propane cannons create loud noises that startle and scare off birds. These techniques, when used in combination, can be highly effective in keeping birds at bay. So through careful habitat management and strategic bird scaring, airports can reduce the presence of birds in and around the airfields. But it's not just about scaring the birds away or making the environment unattractive, it's about maintaining a balance. Airports must ensure that these measures do not negatively impact the local ecosystem or cause undue stress to bird populations. These methods can effectively reduce the presence of birds in and around airfields, mitigating the risk of bird strikes. In the next segment, we will explore how technology, in the form of radar systems and wildlife management, contribute to this ongoing effort to keep our skies safe. Stay tuned. The aviation industry also employs technological and wildlife management strategies to prevent bird strikes. One of the most innovative ways the aviation industry mitigates the risk of bird strikes is through the use of radar systems. These systems are designed to detect flocks of birds and provide real-time data about their movements. This allows air traffic controllers and pilots to be alerted in advance about potential bird hazards. These radar systems offer a significant advantage because they can operate in all weather conditions, day or night, providing an additional layer of protection against bird strikes. In addition to radar systems, wildlife management practices play a crucial role in mitigating bird strike risks. These practices focus on controlling and, where necessary, relocating bird populations that pose a risk to aircraft safety. Wildlife management teams work diligently to understand the behavior and habits of local bird populations. They study migration patterns, feeding habits, and nesting sites, using this information to develop strategies for controlling bird numbers in and around airports. In some cases, this may involve the use of humane deterrents, such as specially designed nets or fences to keep birds away from runways. In other situations, it might be necessary to relocate bird populations to safer areas, away from the flight paths of aircraft. These wildlife management practices are not only beneficial in reducing the risk of bird strikes, but also contribute to the broader goal of preserving biodiversity. By understanding and respecting the needs of local bird populations, the aviation industry can help ensure their survival while also maintaining safe flying conditions. However, it's important to remember that no single measure can completely eliminate the risk of bird strikes. It's the combination of these strategies along with others like habitat management and bird scaring techniques that makes the real difference. Through the combination of these strategies, the aviation industry strives to ensure the skies remain safe for all. A bird strikes in aviation, though seemingly unusual, are a significant concern 
for the safety of air travel. These incidents involve collisions between birds and aircraft which can lead to engine failure and potentially fatal accidents. We've revisited some notable instances such as the Miracle on the Hudson, Ryanair Flight 4102, and Eastern Airlines Flight 375, each highlighting the potential dangers of bird strikes. Yet the aviation industry is not sitting idle. Various measures are in place to mitigate these risks. Habitat management at airports, for instance, can reduce the bird population in the vicinity. Bird scaring techniques utilizing visual and auditory deterrence help keep the feathered creatures at bay. Radar systems can detect bird flocks and alert the necessary parties, and in some cases, wildlife management strategies are used to control or relocate problematic bird populations. With continuous efforts and innovative strategies, the aviation industry is committed to mitigating the risks and ensuring safer skies for us all.